Hello listeners, this video focuses on Commonwealth literature. Commonwealth literature means the literature or a discourse that talks about the change of life that happened after colonization. The Commonwealth literature originated in late 1950s and early 1960s that was during the period of decolonization. This commonwealth, the word the commonwealth has a longer history. It was first used by Oliver Cromwell. It was after the establishment of Republican government in England in the year 1649. And then in the year 1931, the British Empire was rechristened as the British Commonwealth of Nations. There were many factors that was responsible for the growth of Commonwealth literature. But during mid 20th century, the Commonwealth literature, the concept itself emerged. The concept of Commonwealth evolved in the aftermath of the American War of Independence, which had convinced the British statesman that they should formulate a new approach toward the emerging nationalism in the colonies. This commonwealth literature emerged by talking about the violent breakups of the British government in the pattern of what happened to its 13 colonies in America. This practice of talking about the violent activities of British government came into existence because British government has followed a path of concessions and reforms and developed self-governing institutions in its colonies. And amongst the new grouping colonies of settlement, the colonies had a close connection with Britain because it had adapted the British pattern of political institutions. These institutional framework, it remained unchanged till independence was granted to India in the year 1947. And India also decided to stay in the Commonwealth after becoming Republic in the year 1950. After the entry of India, the Commonwealth itself acquired new characteristics and evolved new evolutions and growth. The association of Commonwealth became multiracial and it was declared as a free association of independent nation where equality of status was fully recognized. This Commonwealth then came to be known as Common Well-Being. Also, the Commonwealth of Nations was known as British Commonwealth, which has manifested a distinctive literary development which is marked by its cultural and historical diversity. This Commonwealth is an intergovernmental organization which has 54 nations which were formerly part of the British Empire. The objective of this intergovernmental organization, that is Commonwealth Organization, it aims to provide a framework of common values by facilitating cooperation between its member states in the field of democracy, human rights, rule of law, free trade and peace. In general, Commonwealth literature defines the works that are written in English language which is also known as New English Literature and it is a body of fictional works which group together because of the underlying cultural history and certain recurrent patterns. In countries like Australia, New Zealand, Canada and in Asia, Africa and West Indies on the other hand English language is actually inherited and, and an acquired language which has been employed as the medium of creative expressions in diverse cultural contexts. For example, in novels, poem, literature, etc. 
and while writing in english the indians the africans and the west indians are writing in the language of the colonizer in a language that in a number of ways that carries with its distinctively english culture and ethos this commonwealth literature can be usefully studied in two different categories one is the literature written in those commonwealth countries where english is practically a native language for example in australia new zealand and canada number 2 the literature written in those countries where english is used as a second language or even as a foreign language for example in india and similar commonwealth countries in africa like kenya nigeria tanzania uganda zambia zimbabwe and similarly like west indies sri lanka and bangladesh The use of English in literature is written in two groups. The first group is different from the second group. That is language is an inseparable part of its matrix culture and English likewise is an inseparable part of the British culture. The interesting literature in English in India begins with Mulkraj Anand's Untouchables. and R.K. Narayan Swami and Friends in the year 1935 similarly in black africa with soul pledges mundi in the year 1930 and amos to close the palm wine drink yard in the year 1952 just like this in caribbean with claudy mckay's home to harlem in the year 1928 There is also an establishment of Commonwealth Association for Writers in the year 2011 which is a cultural initiative of the Commonwealth Foundation. This foundation aims to inspire, develop and connect writers across the Commonwealth nations. Hope this video gave you clear picture about Commonwealth literature. If you want me to add few more informations please write it down on the comment section below thank you for listening